Hey mamas, many of you desire to have an unmedicated labor but are uncertain about or unprepared for navigating the intense sensations that bring your baby into this world. In this video, I'm giving you five tools to help you achieve giving birth without an epidural, plus a bonus tool at the end which might surprise you. I'm Bridget, a Lamaze childbirth educator and birth doula, and it's my passion helping mamas discover that they are built to birth. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any future videos. So the very first tool and my number one tip to get you through any labor, but especially an unmedicated labor, is the de-stressor breath. Proper breathing in labor is foundational in maintaining a relaxed body, a calm mindset, and a progressing labor. I teach you in depth how to do the de-stressor breath in this video up here, but I'm also going to share with you really quickly right now how to do it. So to do it, you're going to inhale through your nose as fully and deeply as possible for about four seconds, expanding your belly and sending air to as many places in your body as you can. And then once you are at the top of your breath, you're going to exhale through your mouth for six seconds, slowly, purposefully, and calmly as you exhale, you're releasing every ounce of tension in your body. So let's take three breaths together right now doing just that, breathing peace and relaxation in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth all the tension that you might be feeling in your body. Let's do that together. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So ideally, to make the most of that breathing, you're gonna wanna practice it more than just three times in a row. And if you're doing it the right way, it might feel a tiny bit lightheaded at first, but the more you do it, the easier it becomes. And if you want more practice, check out this video. And like I said, this is the foundation of everything else you do in labor to find comfort. So you want to practice this as often as you can. The second tool is movement. Movement releases tension in the body during labor that is either causing pain or holding your labor progress back. Movement brings improvement. With the intense waves of sensations, aka your contractions that come and go, mama usually responds by moving her body in ways that will help her bring relief and comfort. One of the worst positions to be in is on your back, laying still in labor. It's practically impossible if you are doing it without medication. So moving your body by swaying with your partner, sitting on a birth ball, squatting, lunging, getting on all fours are all ways to help you move with the surges and find comfort in labor. In my Built to Birth course, I provide cheat sheets that you can bring with you into labor to help you recall all the positions and movements and when to use them. And that course is linked in the description below. The third tool is affirmation meditation. Affirmation meditation is a powerful technique to find deep relaxation through empowering your mind to lead your body in the direction that you want it to go. In the intensity of labor, it's easy for our minds to wander and spiral into doubt, despair, or fear. And all of those things have a negative impact on the birthing body, causing pain, tension, and restriction of labor progress. Fear creates tension in our bodies, which often increases pain. When mamas are in labor, their bodies need to be relaxed, open, and soft, and that actually starts in the mind. Affirmation meditations guide your mind to lead your body in the direction that you want it to go. And while this might sound silly or even fake, it's actually backed by research, which tells us that repeating certain phrases that express the intention of moving in a certain direction actually help you tangibly move in that direction. You can come up with your own affirmations or mantras and focus on those lines like one wave at a time, or I breathe in peace and exhale tension, or you can use the built to birth meditations that I have designed for you to use in labor to bring you from your very first surge to the first time you lay eyes on your baby. And you can listen to them for free by clicking this link right up here in the corner, or you can purchase and download them to your phone to have with you whenever and wherever by going to the link in the description below. 
Tip number four is comforting touch. When mama is gently touched during labor, it is often incredibly reassuring and powerful. Comforting touch can be in the form of light massage on the face, the back, the arms, or legs. It can be firm and steady counter pressure, like with the double hip squeeze. It can be acupressure on the hands or on the legs or on the back, or it can simply be holding mama's hand. Touch is used as a guide to ground mama, bring her out of a negative headspace if she's in one, relax muscles, provide warmth or cool to the skin, boost oxytocin, and so much more. There's a lot of different ways to use comforting touch, and I teach you so many in the Built Birth course. Hydrotherapy is tool number five, and it's basically a fancy way of saying using the shower or the tub in labor. When mama is anxious, in pain, or afraid, it contributes to a prolonged labor and even puts stress on the baby. We want to minimize that as much as possible, and studies support that hydrotherapy is beneficial for finding relief from pain and anxiety during labor. Plus, it doesn't pose the risk caused by many other medical treatments for pain and labor. If being on land is not working for mama, get her in the water, whether that's the shower or the bath. And many times pretty quickly, you will witness mama relax more and find her surges much more manageable. Before I give you your last tool, if you've loved these tools so far, you're going to love the Built to Birth course, which I've linked down for you in the description below, in which I give you the foundational tools and building blocks for the happier, healthier, and easier birth and postpartum period that you deserve. The best part is, is if you're not ready for the full course, I have a free mini course for you too, which is linked in the description. So that brings us to our last bonus tool, which is squeezing a comb. It's a pretty specific specific tool, and maybe it sounds strange, but squeezing a comb with the teeth pointed into your palm works as a powerful distraction that takes away from the attention that you're paying to the intensity of the surges. Your brain can only process so many things at the same time. So through the duration of your surge, you squeeze the comb and it serves as the focal point for your brain to concentrate on. So your intense surges aren't the center of attention. Any distraction like this is a powerful tool to cope and find comfort during your surge, but the comb especially is just one of the many tools women have used to help them achieve an unmedicated labor. Mama's surges are good. Their power is not something we fear, it's something we welcome. We want them powerful because powerful surges are what bring your baby to you. But you also need to feel confident in your ability to cope with them. All of these tools will help you do that, but this isn't the end of the list. So be sure to check out the Built to Birth course to learn all the ways to not only achieve an unmedicated labor, but to achieve a happier, healthier, and easier birth. So thanks for being with me in this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye mamas.